Chuck Yacobi, Basic Instructions, Mind Mastery. You know, the other day, it's funny how you can relate. We end up having these experiences that are so far from the normal everyday, and all of a sudden you learn something profound from having looked where you typically don't. Now, I imagine you're feeling curious, but trust me, you don't really want to know how I found myself sitting and watching Looney Tunes for like an hour and change the other day. So as I'm watching this cartoon, I just remembered how much I love this when I was a kid. You know, those happy memories of me sitting and watching cartoons on Saturday or after school. And, you know, I found myself laughing so hard. I almost forgot how funny these characters are. I was really enjoying myself. Couldn't stop smiling. Like Bugs Bunny, Sylvester. They had me grinning ear to ear like the Joker. And what really made me get comfortable and sink deeper, enjoy this show, was my favorite character, the Roadrunner. And of course, his main adversary, Wile E. Coyote. This used to make me think when I watched him as a kid. And as I think about it now, I'm wondering, like, for real, what's Wile E. Coyote's deal? I mean, all the bowls of birdseed and giant slingshots the Acne Company has in stock, they've never even gotten him a whiff of the Roadrunner. He's never even come close to the feeling of experiencing that special texture or enjoying the savory flavor of Roadrunner for dinner. You realize that, don't you? And you ever notice how the Roadrunner is so chill? His mind is so blank and calm. That huge smile across his beak, totally confident and believes not in a million years he could never imagine the Coyote could achieve his biggest goal of catching him. You know what I think it is? It's the Coyote's mindset. Wiley Coyote just might be the biggest tri-baby there ever was. Just think about it. Yeah, he's just a big tri-baby. <laughs> You're probably wondering what a tri-baby is, huh? Forgive me now, let's go deeper. It's all about that pesky three-letter word, try. Stay with me here, I'll explain. You know, I love learning and teaching about communication. Words are so amusing to me. And not the, just the words we use to communicate with others, but have you ever considered the impact of the words that you use in your mind when you talk to yourself? <laughs> it's really funny. The most amazing thing that I find in the power of words is that the smallest words are the most powerful and by far the most destructive as it pertains to achieving our desired goals. Let me go deeper on this. The word try. You ever think about how that word slows us down, making achieving our desired results in our lives, our careers, our relationships, feel like we're walking through quicksand, feeling more and more like you're stuck in one place as we're slowly sinking deeper and deeper. You probably never considered the danger this word presents to our dreams and plans of success. Because one of the things I find myself pointing out with coaching clients is the presuppositions in the words we use. So think about what you're really saying when you say, I'm trying, or I'll try. Like, I remember a while back when I was working with a real estate agent client. She was feeling frustrated, having trouble communicating with her mother-in-law. I mean, they were fighting a lot. She couldn't stop complaining about how frustrated she feels and how the difficulty was weighing heavy on her, trying to get through to her. So she asked me for advice as to what she could do to make their relationship feel better. And as her coach, I listened in closely to what she was saying. I gave her some basic instructions to follow and we agreed that what I recommended, this was a strong plan of action. So when I reminded her what to do as we were getting off our Zoom coaching call, and I said, remember, just do what we talked about. You will get what you want. Then she responded to me, okay, I'll try. I mean, with that tone, the thought in my mind is, yeah, you'll try, but do you really believe your trying will work with that attitude? So we stayed on the call for a few more moments because I had to get her mindset straight and said to her, think about those times when you say to your kids, make sure you focus and pay attention at school when the teacher's talking. Remember, you're here to learn. Do you feel confident that they will succeed and stay focused when they answer you back? Okay, I'll try. Or like you hear someone saying, I'm really trying to lose weight. I'm trying to work out. It's just not working. Do you really believe they're doing all they can to reach their goal? And didn't you just see them eating pastries at the meeting and mozzarella sticks at happy hour the other day? Okay, I'll try. Every time I hear I'll try, even if I think the word try in my mind, ugh, I, just, I just hate that feeling. It sounds like Freddy Krueger's nails across a chalkboard. Now, I don't know about you, 
But when I hear someone say, I'm trying or I'll try, you realize there's a presupposition in there that they're not going to succeed in their attempts and they're making it crystal clear to you. They don't believe they will deep down. That's their mindset right now. It's like I can imagine hearing the real conversation in their mind where they finish the sentence. OK, I'll try, but it won't work. Hmm, I can see it. I mean, can you see the issue with this mindset? If I'm not fully congruent in my belief that I am capable of achieving my highest potential, my biggest goals, my deepest desires. If in my mind, I'm telling myself limiting stories that start with more small, piercing sounding words like I can't and I'm not. If we envision our attempts will fall short, what do I think the outcome will be for me trying? No more saying I'll try. Instead, replace it with I'm doing. Every action you take to create a perfect result, you are doing what's necessary to eventually bring your dream into real life. I mean, even if you make an honest attempt to succeed and you don't hit a home run on the first pitch, deciding on my specific desired outcome, exactly what I want, committing to taking the necessary action to achieve what I want and staying focused until I'm experiencing that success. I mean, that's probably what the roadrunner is doing when he's sidestepping the coyote's silly tricks and traps. It's so crazy. The roadrunner is so calm and confident. So be just like the roadrunner. That's the mindset we want to have when we're working towards our biggest goals and ambitions. Loose, relaxed, confident that everything's going to work out for me. There's nothing to be afraid of. Staying focused on what I want, not what I don't want. That mentality is what gives us the best chance to catch that winning feeling. And Wiley Coyote, what gives him the best chance of catching his deepest desire? You know, he's been trying for a long time. And right now, it's just time for him to grow up. Stop being such a crybaby. He probably just needs a coach, someone to give him the basic instructions of mind mastery so he can stop trying and start doing. Clear his mind of all doubt and get him focused on that feeling of success. Success is simple if you know the basic instructions.com.